Hey, what's up, guys? It's Pat. So, as someone said, um, I should probably really start to use um, the keyboard instead of clicking on all the skills. So, I'm actually I'm gonna put an effort, guys, for you guys. I'm gonna try. So, we'll see. Anyways, it looks like the Dark Moon Fair is here, guys. So, I want to really, I really want to go to this. So, guys, we'll just head into this portal. And nice, we got an achievement for going to the Dark Moon Fair. And guys, like I mentioned, um, I don't have as much memory for my computer as I used to. I actually just ordered some new memory today, so hopefully my computer will be be up to par for next time. But what I did was um, I lowered down um, the graphics from Ultra just to high, so that way we'd get you know it running a little better. So I don't know. Hopefully we won't have any lag. I know I had a tiny bit of lag last time at like one of the spots. And since we don't have a mount, we're gonna have to run all the way there. But I really like the Dark Moon Fair, so I figured it'd be a good time to uh, check it out. And guys um, that don't know about it, it happens um, once a month and lasts for a week. And you get some pretty cool stuff, and I'll show you guys. Um, you get some, you get some pets, some mounts. So it really is worth doing. And there's and there's some decent quests to do as well. It it can be a little boring trying to do all the um, the games every single day. They're daily quests, but I enjoy them. We're almost we're almost there. We're getting there. So yeah, I'm gonna I'll do every game for you guys. So you get to check them all out. And you get to see my my mad skills at the cannonball one. We should be able to um you know buy some tokens. So yeah, this dude um woman sells the tokens. All right, so we know we're gonna get a whole sack of them. All right, so I'm ready to play some games. I don't know about you guys. I like to think that I'm good at these. But probably since I'm recording, I'm probably going to do awful. I like to, you know, I like to do these all in one shot. Alright, so this one, all you got to do is, um, I thought I just gave you my token. I thought I just bought, oh, I didn't open up my tokens. My bad. Alright, so we got the tokens, and I'm ready. And this is where I'm a clicker again. Maybe I, should tr I, don't, I don't know if I can do it without clicking. I can't. I can't, sorry. It's such a bad habit. I gotta zoom out a little bit. So yeah, these ones are worth three points, and the other ones are worth one. And those other ones, those um don't aren't worth anything. And I think they, I think it stuns you for a second if you hit the, the um, the dolls. Wow, I'm sucking. But yeah, we gotta get thirty points. I'm already half my time is already up. But it is possible that um. Sometimes you won't get any of the guys that are worth uh, bonus points, like right now, and you really can't complete it in one run. There they are. Wow, but I suck. This is probably the worst I've ever done. There's too much pressure on me, guys. I'm only halfway. Damn it, this is horrible. But yeah, you need, it doesn't matter how long it takes you to do it, so it doesn't really make any difference. Alright, so I finished it up real quick, because I know you guys don't want to watch me failing at this, so... Okay, so we're going to do the next one. Where is it? Right here. So the Cannonball one, I, I like to think I'm good at this one. It took me the first time ever to get the achievement for this, which I'll show you guys what the achievement is. It took me a long time the first time. But yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to concentrate now on this one I can handle the keyboard with. This is going to be my first practice. So we have to land, like, right in this thing. I find it, like, aim it, like aiming it a little lower like this and right before it oh god ooh that was good three points alright not too bad if you get directly in the middle sometimes it looks like you get it right in the middle but you don't you get the five points and an achievement it's, a, it's not that easy to get the first time it took me forever to get it this little dude will teleport you back say nice shot scared the fish though need a quick teleport back to the cannon of course you gotta pay him though but it's based on what level you are, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, we got this. So this time, I am going to get a bullseye, guys. You know it. I know you You guys are predicting it right now. You're like, he's definitely going to get a bullseye. I saw that amazing shot he had the first time. Oh, come on. I was right in the middle. Damn it. I guess it was another three-point shot. I don't know. It looked directly in the middle to me. But yeah, oh guys, if you have um if you don't have a very good computer, this one is tough. Because you're gonna lag and it is not easy to aim if you are lagging. I used to have a really bad uh, computer when I used to play World of Warcraft. And um it was during the well, 
all the earlier expansions before Cataclysm. And I used to not be able to go to Dalaran, like, at all. You know when you used to pick, there used to be, um, you pick up the daily, uh, I mean the weekly raid or whatever, and I just, I, I couldn't hand it in. It would take like an hour to hand in, literally an hour. It was pretty bad. But now that I have a nice computer, it's much nicer. Alright, this one is fun. Come on, that was right at it. Alright, so you get quick shot if you, um, you gotta shoot like right now, like that. Quick shot. Achievement. So yeah, you can do this one in one, but it isn't easy. You kind of have to guess where the next one's going to be. Just keep shooting after it disappears. Like, go right at the middle and shoot right now. See? Quick shot. That's going to get you the most points as quick as possible, guys. Oh, wrong one. Damn it. But yeah, these games, I mean, they're not, like, super exciting, but it's, like, a little bit... It's fun. It's a cool thing to add into, like, an MMORPG. At least for me. It gives you, you know, a break from all the monster fighting and stuff. I know we just, like, started, but I, I couldn't miss out, guys. I had to go here. Alright, we're almost out of time. Quick shot. Damn, we almost got 25. Alright, all right, we're gonna need this right now. Oh, damn it, wrong one. Oh, 24. Oh, did we get it? Oh, nice. Did it in one try. That's, this is probably the hardest one to do in one try, so I feel accomplished. And as you can see, this is giving me guild... I can't believe the guild's reputation is so ridiculous now. I am halfway to honored. But yeah, Dark Moon Fair reputation. And that's a tough one to get to Exalted. I've never done it. I'm sure some of you guys have. I never had the heart to do it. Alright, so this one this is a fun little one. All you do is pretty much run around and shoot at the little little signs. And the, the second button just speeds you up. It's a little harder when there's like lots of people around doing it. And you can get shot, so you have to really keep moving. If you're not moving, you're gonna get you're just gonna get killed and you'll have to redo it anyway. But the points stay anyway, so it doesn't matter. I just run I just bulldoze through them pretty much. I feel like that's what gets me the most points. But yeah, this he's taking mine right now. And yeah, you can speed up like this and get your points. And once we I think there's one more game. And I will show you guys, um Oh see I got hit. See, that's bad. Don't do that. D example, don't do that. I'll show you guys what stuff you can actually get. Alright, so I finished that up, guys. So we'll just hand this in. I think we got one more game. I think this is the easiest game. I'll show you guys how to do this one. But, um, just so you know, I was using the keyboard the whole time for those last two games. I'm a work in progress right here. And this is the strongest woman in the world right here. She doesn't look that strong, but she's got some big weapons. For some people, it's all fun and games until someone gets hurt. I call those people weak. Badass. To be the strongest, you have to hurt someone or something. You hurt yourself as you push your body to its limits. You hurt those that threaten the well-being of others. If you want to be the strongest, you have to fight. How bad do you want it? I want you to crush those. I don't know if I challenge you. Bring me back proof of your triumphs. Alright, and this quest is just like, um, you want to pick this up right at the beginning of the week because... Every monster you kill, you're going to get a grizzly trophy. And this gives you 10 tickets, prize tickets. So yeah, you want those prize tickets. Um, oh, I might as well show you guys right here. These are This is the stuff you can get. The cool stuff. So you can get this um, Forest Rider. I don't think you can look at them. Now you can't. But it's like it's around here somewhere, I think. I think some, there's like someone walking one around here. But it's a purple plane strider. And there's um, these are the pets. So a bunch of different pets. So it really takes a while to gain these. So you really want to make sure you're on it. And this, oh, this is the Dancing Bear mount. Um, there's also Heirloom. I talked about Heirlooms last time. There's an Heirloom vendor as well. I've never bought Heirlooms from here. I'm more of the, a pets kind of person. But yeah, this is what there is. These are different Heirlooms. And they're they're pretty expensive too. All this stuff is. And you can see you can see right here um, um, the stats that they have for my level. And they're strong. I mean, up to 54 damage. I mean a bow, you can't compare, but let's look at the bow actually. Mine does thir up to 13 damage, and this one does up to 43. So you can see the difference, and that's the reason I don't really use those things. And this stuff is um, transmog stuff. What transmog is, oh, that's a cool mount. I don't think I've seen it before. Um, transmog stuff, let's look at my gear. So you have all this gear on, and if you find one you really like, you can actually keep it forever. And what you do is, um, you're the transmog person. 
in the main city. And what we'll do is that you can set it so that you always look like you're wearing that piece of gear, even if you're wearing a different one. So if you have one with great stats and you like one that doesn't have great stats, then you can wear it. So it's pretty cool. It's a cool thing to add it in Cataclysm. Okay, so we gotta do the ring toss. And I, I own it, this one. Alright, all you do for this one is get out of my way. Alright, here we go. So just, oh, can't see. I can't see, guys. Alright, I have a bad angle. So just hit one over and over again and just angle it. You can tell he's doing the same thing. So, and you're bound to score some points. You always get three when you do it this way. God, my angle's bad. All right, we got three points. So this one's, that's definitely the easiest one. Step right up and five. So I have completed all the games, which is cool. You should always do it. Do it every day if you want to. I think there's, um, I think there's another achievement over here. I don't think I could do it yet though. Where you like you jump on the pony? I think I need to be I think I need to be level 20 because I can't ride a mouse. I'm just traveling over here right now to show you guys. Um, there's actually a really good. I made a money making guide. I don't know any. I don't know how, if any of you have seen it. Honestly, money making guide for Dark Moon Fair. It involves going all the way around here, and um, there'll be um, special fishing spots, and you really get a lot of money from it. But you know, a lot of people do it, so it's tough. Okay, so we need to learn fishing. All right, you gotta, you gotta fish. This lady has the weirdest voice. Wait for it. Wait for it. I don't, that's a lady's voice. I know it's creepy. I know. All right, you got a fishing rod. Thank you. Oh, that's okay. So we just got a message from Estebel. Hey man, I've been watching your YouTube Let's Plays. Great job. Thanks, man. I am recording right now. You are in the video. I thought that was pretty funny. So yeah, guys, um, feel free to, you know, leave me a PM or, you know, mail or whatever. And I will get back to you. And most likely when I'm on, I'm going to be recording. So you're probably going to be mentioned in the video if you pop up right on my screen. All right, so we're done with the Dark Moon Fair. And what we need to do is we need to level up. We need to get to level 10 so I can do some PvP. I spelled really bad in that sentence. I didn't even notice. All right, which way to go? I don't know which way to see. You got all these quests all over the place. You never know which way to go. Cool. I was wondering if you wanted to do some quests together sometime. Maybe we can talk after the video. Pro guys, most likely I'm probably gonna just do dungeons with you guys, just because I, I don't I don't know how to like quest and talk to someone and commentate, but I could definitely du dungeon definitely. All right, guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna head towards this quest over here. We got a bunch of different quests to do. So what we're gonna do is just we're gonna just bust these out. We're halfway to level nine. I think I got a decent experience just from doing the. Um, ooh, an herb. I get excited. It's exciting to see herbs. Cause this is the money. I really should empty out my bags. I just realized I only have four spots. Not good. Oh, so you know what happens? This happens to me all the time. Especially usually I pick like herbalism and mining, and you end up walking around all over the place. Where's my pet? Is he dead? No. But yeah, you end up walking all over the place trying to get every herb and every mining thing. I'm probably going to do most of it off camera just to level up. Just because I don't want to spend the whole time um, gathering stuff. Although I can't help this one. It's just it's just too close. So we're getting some experience. Uh-oh. Attracted the young forest bear. But yeah, we haven't, we haven't gotten too much experience so far other than those quests. But I really want to see the Dark Moon Fair. I love the Dark Moon Fair. Oh shit, I'm clicking. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm not clicking now. Okay, we are not clicking. My bad. It's a, it's like it, the the habit is like ingrained into like my brain at this point. But I, I you know I'm gonna work on it. I think within a couple episodes I can get myself, you know, doing it almost every time. I don't know. I just started fighting and then I just started clicking. Bad habit. All right, so yeah, we need to get to this quest. All right, so we're back here. Oh, and this is to Mabel McClure. So yeah, I feel like we've done quest. Oh, the invisibility potion, so she can escape. Oh my, I feel guilty deceiving my family, but my feelings for Tommy Joe are too strong to ignore. Thank you, Pat. I'll drink his liquor as soon as I have the chance and sneak away to my love. See, I just, I just reunited people, you know, and it feels good. You know, I feel like I'm really part of the game. I just, oh, I'm gonna save this guy, saving him, and I'm using, I'm using the keyboard as well to save him. Not that I really saved him. 
But okay, where are we going now? So we got one more quest this way, and I think this is, um, I think the Hogger quest is over here. It's, Hogger's like, um, he's like this boss monster. I think there's a quest for him over here. And I think they, they moved him into the instance for a Storm and Stockade. And one, I don't know when they did it, I just noticed it one time. They did it at like one point. But I think he's still, he's still here too. So I think he's in like two places, which is kind of weird. But, um, guys, once we hit level 10, we are going to check out Stormwind. I'm probably not going to hit it today, but I'm assuming next time I'm going to hit level 10. And we're going to check out Stormwind. And Stormwind is pretty, it's a pretty cool place. It's one of my favorite cities in the game. Um, oh, guys, leave a comment and let me know what your favorite city in the game is. I've played, you know, both Alliance and Horde. And I'd say that my favorite actually, I really like Thunderbluff. That's my favorite. But Stormwind is probably second for me. I really hate Orgrimmar. I think that's how you, I don't even know how to pronounce it. I pronounce it different every time I say it. I'm like, Orgrimmar, Orgrimmar, or whatever. I, I'm really not known for my pronunciation skills. If any, I know barely anyone's played Atlantic Online. That's like another game I really like. And if you've seen my money-making guide, I pronounce it. And it has like all like realistic city names, like real cities in the world. And, it, and I pronounce like every single one wrong in my video, which everyone in the comments, you know, likes to let me know that I pronounce them wrong. And I pronounce them really bad, too. So, um... Expect some pretty bad pronunciations through this, um, let's play. Okay, okay. Oh, we got this. We are hitting the right buttons now with the keyboard. Keyboard in this. You know, I'm already, I'm pretty proud of myself already that I'm using it. I even remembered that time. But yeah, as you can tell, the world is, is quite big. It feels big. We've only been in one zone. And, um, what the hell was I, I was going to say something. It was real important too, but my, my mind... My memory isn't so good. I'm losing my memory. I'm only 23. I have no idea what I was going to say. It was, it was super important. Super important. I need to think about it. But, um, we'll go over here and we will hand this in. Where'd my pet go? Alright, he is slacking. He's got to, you know, catch up with me. Alright, so what, one thing we do when we do... Oh, what the hell did I just say? When we do get to the city, I need to talk to the pet trainer or whatever it is. And I really want to start riding this mountain. I need to get to level 20. Oh, no, I can use these. I couldn't use them before. It said something about it. Maybe you need to be a certain level. I have no idea. Ooh, my pets. Which one shall we summon? I'm so glad to have these. I think I think I have them. Just making sure, yeah. So, these aren't all the pets I have. I think they're just the ones you have on the server, I'm assuming. Alright. Yeah, definitely. Because <laughs> I have many more pets than this. I am going with, the, with this little guy. He's cute. I don't know if this is the one that runs off, but, you know, it's a cool pet. At least I don't have to get this one again. Alright, this is the hogger quest. I know it is, because it's on a sign. Usually when they're on a sign, it's like... It's like a kill a boss. Anything good? Green gear. We don't have green gear. And green gear is um, on common gear. And that is the next step up above this crap that we've been wearing. Well, it's gray and then white. But, you know, no one pays attention to that anyway. Alright. Knowles, brutish creatures with no descent business with no decent I said descent how do you spell descent anyway it looks the same to me with no decent business in these lands have been seen along the borders of Elwyn Forest a large pack of them many more than we can handle alone have infested the woods south of the guard tower yonder who says yonder another group has infested the areas near Stone Carn Lake to the east the Stormwind army will commend whomever helps kill them bring me their painted no armbands as proof of your deed. I can do that. So yeah, we gotta take care of all the gnolls and we gotta take care of the leader. We gotta get this peace bloom as well. If we can. There's like so many monsters like going around it. Oh, and I'm ready for um for using the right buttons. Actually, I'm doing it, I'm doing it better this time. Okay. The, oh, we attracted three. That's, that's You know, that's a, not usually a good sign. Let me switch to another one while my pet is still taking down that one. But yeah. I think we'll be good actually. I'm just running out of focus. Alright, last one. No, we're good. I don't even think we're going to get a um, death here. I wish that I could pull aggro. Like, at least one away from him. But no, you did a good You did a good job. I'm, I'm proud of you. Slash. Pet. <laughs> I, don't, I just felt like doing that. I don't know. Alright, so the good thing is, though, lots of skin. I need to get up my skinning. And I think that may be part of the video last time that got cut out. I'm really sorry about whatever is wrong with um, what was making that buzzing noise. I have no idea. But um, and when I got my skills or my professions, whatever, I think that is when... I think you missed that part. But 
there's a dude called the profession trainer. They didn't used to have that. They used to just have one for each person. But now they have like a special one at starting towns. I think just the starting towns, where you can um, where you can get all the all the professions you want just from one person, which is kind of cool. It it saves you some time. But yeah, if you want to take a look at them, um, I have chosen skinning and herbalism. Usually I go with mining, but mining prices are really horrible on this server from what I remember on my other character, so I have decided not to do it. And uh, the gathering professions, uh, guys, usually are going to be the best bank for your buck money-wise because they don't cost you anything to level and you can sell all the materials. You'll be pretty rich be able to afford your epic flying. And epic flying is, um, at least I call it epic flying. I don't know if, what most people call it. But um, that's the quick mount that you're going to get at level 60. Yes. Or 70. I don't, even, I don't even know. I just go. I just go with it, guys. My memory is iffy. But yeah, I'm getting the painted null armbands. And, um, yeah. So it's pretty. Ex it's really expensive. You really need to save up your money. I mean, these days, it's not too bad. Um, during the Burning Crusade, you have to be pretty damn rich. Or, I, mean, I might have just been stupid. I don't know. It was my first time playing. Bam, we are level 9. But yeah, I could not afford it at all back then. But now, it's easy. I always have plenty of money. I have it by like, I usually have it by like level 40. But yeah, you really gotta, I've gotten a lot better at like organizing my money. And hopefully I'll give you guys some good tips on gaining money. Because that's probably one of my best th things I'm best at. I'm not the best at the game in PvP or Dungeons. I'm alright. I'm not bad. I'm better than most people, but I'm not great. But I am good at gaining money, usually. And we'll hopefully make some money when we actually get to Stormwind. I right, always look around these little areas, treasure chests, you never know, you may find one. But yeah, I'm heading straight for Hogger. I don't think we could kill Hogger, actually. I think he's elite. I think he's still elite unless they changed it, I'm not sure. But they've changed so much in the game. An elite monster will be in gold, and they're like 10 times stronger. It usually means you need a group. But they may have changed it, and they've changed so much that, that it most likely they've changed him. I'm not sure, though. We're going to find out in a second. I'm trying to head towards him. I, th I, th I feel like they changed the quest a little bit. I feel like I've done it, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, it, it is pretty difficult for me to back up and use the use um the keyboard at the same time. I don't know. I'm just not used to the buttons. I'm sure I'll get used to it. But I'm doing it for you guys. You guys. Because I know that lots of people don't like to see me clicking on the buttons, and I'm not going to click on the buttons anymore. I've retired. It's for noobs. I am not a noob anymore, starting today. I think we're getting close. Yeah, we gotta pick these guys off. Looks like good news is they drop every time. And apparently I lied about the test your strength thing. Um, I've gotten no trophies. I'm not sure why. Oh, I don't have the adventure. I need to get the adventurers guy. I need to go to the main town. Main city. And I'll be able to pick up the quest there for that. That's why. I've never actually been level 8 and just went straight to, you know, the thing. Ooh, ooh a rare spawn. He's in silver. Oh, God, I... I you know what, I'll let him take it. Or her. Let's actually see if they die. I know that's a little rude. But I'm hoping that they die so I can get it, but it's not going to happen. It would be funny if that was the, fir the first new PM to me, actually, and I said that. But yeah, they took they took the rare spawn from me. I need a bag. It mo Usually at this level they drop bags. I've noticed that. Alright, where's Hogger? Hogger. Hogger. I don't know how to pronounce it. But yeah, I was cheering for their death, not to be too rude. Usually I just jump in there and, um, oops, sorry, I was, I was clicking. Usually I just jump in there and try to grab it before the other person, if I really need it. Oh, I think Hogger's over here. Don't take him from me. Oh, he's elite. I think that, I feel like I need to get it. Sorry. <laughs> I had to do that. Help me. I think you get him down to, um, like half health or something. And, uh, he'll stop attacking you. Oh, God, I need your help. That's what I get for if you ever steal the monster from somebody, the chance of them helping you is um is a little on the lower side. And I only stole I stole it guys for good reason. Because we are recording right now and I'd have to wait. And that's not good, I don't want to have to wait. But yeah, I think we're good on this. My <laughs> destruction isn't gonna last much longer. Ooh, I think we won. Get all these little guys off them. Minions. Nice. Oh, we're still fighting. I, I thought we were done. Alright, you are owned. No hurt, Haga. That's what his voice sounds like, by the way. Just so that you guys know. No hurt, Haga. 
All right. Hold your blade, adventurer. We got these nice scenes. General Marcus Jonathan. Wow. This is the most exciting stuff. Grr. Someone said thank you. I don't know what I did. I don't know if they joined in on the quest or... I don't think you can't. The beast... Oh, man, I messed up. We're taking him into custody in the name of King Byron Worm. Worm. No. Take us to the stockades, Andrew Matt. Oh, that's how he gets to the stockades. That's how we got an instance. See, usually I don't read the I don't read the storyline. Now I understand. I feel much wiser in my wow knowledge now. All right, so they may have said thank you because they were part of the quest. I'm not sure. I don't think though, unless we're in a group. But it may be different with boss monsters like that. Or they said thank you because they were being sarcastic. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't matter. I I needed to do it, guys. I was recording. I can't just wait around for five minutes. You'll get bored. And close out of the video. But yeah, I think this is going to be the last one we need. I didn't even loot it. Oops. Alright, yeah, we're done. I need this. Ooh, I haven't talked to the Band-Aid Trainer. I know they're not called Band-Aid Trainer. But that's what I'm going to call them for now. First Aid Trainer. I need these to make Band-Aids. You need cloth for the Band-Aids, guys. Hold on to it. But anyways, guys, I think that's about it for now. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I really hope there's not a buzzing noise. I'm going to be real upset. Cause I, and if you guys have any idea what might be causing it, let me know. Because I record all the time and I've never had that problem before. But um, feel free to, you know, leave a comment, a like, and subscribe. See you guys later.